morning, dear friends. Let us welcome this new day together. A day in which we are going to be closer to God. Because today, we're better than we've ever been. Because we only progress. We never regress. And today, we're going to talk about a situation that happens to us almost every day. How do you feel when people talk bad about you, slander you, misunderstand you? You know it happened to Jesus too, right? As reported in chapter 17 of the book Good News by Humberto de Campos through Chico Xavier, at the end of the chapter, after hearing the conversations of many people talking about the master, the disciples were outraged. For them, they thought that the master was successful, but they discovered a profound misunderstanding among the people. It was then that Jesus, with the serenity he demonstrated in all moments, clarified to them with his unshakable grace. You should not be surprised by the lesson of this day. When the Baptist came, he went to the desert, feeding himself with the wild honey. Some claimed that John the Baptist was in the company of the spirit of Satan. They call me a glutton and a drunkard just because I take part in the joys of the gospel. This is the landscape in which we have to operate. Everywhere we will find arguing Samaritans mindful of the achievements and situations of the world. Observe the road so that you may not fall because the disciple of the gospel must only concern himself with the will of God. With his work, under the watchful eye of the Father, and with the approval of his conscience. There you go. We got the answer. What do we do when people slander us or misunderstand us? Jesus is saying, this will happen all the time. These people who mind people's businesses, these people are the Samaritans of the day. They are everywhere. What should we be concerned with? The will of God. Jesus says, and we will repeat, observe the road so that you may not fall because the disciple of the gospel must only, let us observe what he says, must only concern himself with the will of God and with his own work under the watchful eye of the Father and with the approval of his conscience. So whatever people say about us doesn't really matter. What matters is that we focus on what we're doing. Sometimes family members, relatives, colleagues at work, even spiritists talking about other spiritists, humans, right? And here we have the beauty of Jesus' guidance saying, we must only, only concern with the will of God. What about that? Food for thought. How about if now we pray? And in prayer, we'll find that inner ground, the solid communion with God, and stay steady and strong, minding our business and nothing else.
Dear Master, we rejoice for your granting us with the recipe for inner peace. The recipe for life immortal. Thank you for helping us stay strong and consistent in the fulfillment of your will, of God's will on earth, of your governance that is divine. We now can feel your loving embrace. And we visualize our homes, loved ones, family members being enveloped by your eternal love. And we visualize our neighbors receiving this nourishment. We visualize our streets, our cities, our states, our countries. Especially we pray for those who are sick or discarnating or who remain disconsolate because of their loved ones who departed. We visualize healing baskets being delivered to the hearts of everyone. Thank you, God, for your love, for your care today and always, and so be it. It is always a joy and a blessing to be here, to pray together, to commune with God, to learn with Master Jesus. What a privilege for all of us. And we wish you, dear friends, a beautiful day. May this day be memorable in choices of the good. When we prioritize always the loving care and the comfort of everyone. We wish you many blessings. And let us stay tuned because here at Cardiac Creative, there's always more to nourish our soul. Thank you, friends.